Hi, and welcome to Everyone a Coder, your fast track to bring Genosis products into your applications with ease. I am Zanamile from the Genosis engineering team, and in this video, we'll walk through using our bulk services processing API, a powerful tool that lets you process large volumes of client data automatically and at scale. Whether you're validating KYC information or performing other bulk checks, this API simplifies the process. Instead of manually handling millions of records, you can upload a single CSV file. The API processes each entry at high speed, retaining results in bulk. It's fast, efficient, and eliminates the need for custom-built data handling solutions. To support this demo, we'll be working with a predefined JSON collection. This collection contains the structured API requests and configuration values we'll use throughout the process. You can replicate or adapt this for your own use case. The first step is to authorize access. This is done by sending your client ID and secret credentials to the authorization API. In return, you'll receive a bearer token, which must be included in the header of every subsequent API request. This ensures the requests are securely authenticated. Before we process any data, let's take a look at the storage structure. We have configured a cloud-hosted database to hold our input and output files. On the left, you'll see a folder structure. This structure forms the file path that must be referenced in the API request, so it tells the system where to retrieve the input file and where to store the output once processing is complete. The input file is a CSV already uploaded to the correct location. For this demo, it contains a list of MSISDNs, which are mobile phone numbers, that will pass through the SIMSOP endpoint to retrieve SIMSOP data. Now we'll build the post body that will be submitted to the API. This contains all the information needed to execute the job. First, there's the API name, which tells the system which endpoint you're using. In our case, SIMSOP. The bucket name identifies the storage bucket in your database. Then the file name field is the full path to the input file you uploaded earlier, including the folder name and file name. You'll also include your client ID and secret credentials again. These are needed specifically for this process, separate from the initial authorization step. The country code indicates the country or opco config that the API will be utilizing. Set the method to post, then enter your name in the requester field and your email in the requester email ID. Now, the transaction ID. This must be unique for every new request. If you reuse a transaction ID, the API will reject the request. To keep things organized, it's good practice to align the transaction ID with the API name or the data file it corresponds to. The transactions per second value tells the system how fast to process the data. Keep in mind that this depends on the processing capacity of any downstream systems you're connected to. Finally, isDirect is a report after boolean flag. If set to false, the automated reporting will be restricted after the process is complete. If set to true, automated reporting can be configured. With everything configured, we can now trigger the API. Once submitted, the API reads the input file, processes the data, and generates the output, all based on the configuration and credentials provided. Let's go back to the database and confirm that the response has been generated. As expected, a new output file has been created in the same folder as the input file. Open the file and you'll see the response. In this case, the SIMSWAP dates corresponding to the list of MSISDNs. It's as easy as that to use the Genosis Bulk Services Processing API, a simple, secure, and scalable solution to process large volumes of data. To explore and try out more of our APIs, visit the Genosis platform and feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions about integration or how we can level up your application with our marketplace of ready-to-go solutions. Thanks for watching. Thank you.